Hi guys, this is teacher Brianna here. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far and you guys are doing great. So today we are going to be talking about a story called The Lost Sheep. Have you guys ever heard about the story The Lost Sheep? Maybe from your friends, from your family, maybe your parents have read it to you or maybe you read it at Sunday school. Well, if you haven't heard about the story The Lost Sheep, good thing you tuned in today because we are going to be talking about a shepherd that lost one sheep out of a hundred sheep that he had. Now, before we start that, I wanna share with you guys something special that I wanted to show you guys. Now, here is a bag full of my favorite stuffed animals, but there's one that I really, really love and one that I love to sleep with and I love to have to cuddle with every single day. So if we find it, then I will show you guys, but I'm going to tell you more about my stuffed animal collection. All right, so here I have a little white dog with some big eyes, this one's really cute. And then I have Mr. Donald Duck here. This one's also one of my favorites as well. And then I have a little kitty cat. This one is really cute because it's small and you can, you know, hug with it at night. And then I have a brown dog. This one is really soft and really fluffy to, to just hug and cuddle and sleep with as well. But there's one stuffed animal that is so special to me and I can't find it anywhere in my bag. I'm so sad. I think I'm gonna have to dump everything out so see if, I, if it's there. Should I dump everything in my bag? Yeah, okay, let's do it. Let's see if I find my special stuffed animal that I love. Let's see, it's not there, it's not there. Oh, here it is. This one is my favorite and special stuffed animal that I love to have every single day when I go to sleep, when I watch some TV and I like to cuddle with it. And one of my favorite things about this stuffed animal is that it's blue, which is my second favorite color. And it also has some pink ears, which I really love. And it's an elephant. This one is one of my special stuffed animals that I really love to have with me. But at times I lose it. I lose it underneath my bed or I lose it in my room. But good thing that I found it so I can show you guys. But that is how God feels about us. We are so special to him more than anything else. He cares for us, he protects us, he is with us. And Jesus told a story about a shepherd that lost one sheep that was so special to the shepherd. Now, if you guys wanna find out what happens to the one sheep that the shepherd lost, then you guys will find out right now. But before we do that, we're gonna do a quick prayer to start off our service. Are you guys ready? Okay, bow your heads. Thank you, God, for the day that you have given us, Lord. Thank you for protecting us every single day. Thank you for protecting our friends, our family, love, our family, our loved ones, and everybody in our lives, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, I pray, Lord, I pray um, that, um, that we take out um, something, Lord, through this story, Lord, that we take out a special message through your word, Lord Jesus, and that, um, and that your presence be there with us as well. Thank you for the day that you have given us, and please bless this service as we are about to have right now. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, guys, so if you guys want to find out what happens to the lost sheep, then you guys stay tuned and let's go. So today's Bible lesson is all about a lost sheep. Have you guys ever heard about the story, um, the lost sheep? Well, if you have, that is great because you will learn more about it today. And if you haven't, well, good thing that you tuned in today because we are gonna be talking about a very special, special story. So Jesus told a story about a man that had a hundred sheep with him. He cared for a hundred sheep. He protected the hundred sheep. He fed them, he gave them water, and he always looked after all his sheep, all a hundred. There was not one sheep that he didn't take care of. He took care of every of his sheep. So there was one shepherd 
who took so good care of all his sheep. He led them to the mountains of the region later known as Palestine, taking them to the sweetest grass and the freshest water. So this is a shepherd. This is what a shepherd looks like. And a shepherd is a person that takes care of sheep. And right here is kind of like a stick that he had so he could protect all the sheep. And what he did is when he when he walked around the road with all the hundred sheep behind them, he always carried this stick with him because he wanted to protect them. So just in case um, if there was an animal that wanted to attack the shepherd or if there was an animal that wanted to attack the sheep, he will protect them with this stick so he could protect himself and he could protect the sheep as well. So the shepherd was, you know, walking down the road with the hundred sheep behind him. Can you imagine all these sheep that were behind him? All of them, all a hundred of them. And they were right behind him. They were walking behind them, right? So what the shepherd did was to protect the, his a hundred sheep behind him was that there was some rocks that were on the road. There were maybe um, some tree twigs that might hurt the sheep right or the rocks that might hurt the sheep also maybe some poisonous plants so what he did when he was walking on the road was that he took away all the rocks and all the poisonous plants so that he can protect the sheep and that the sheep won't get won't get hurt or won't get injured from any of the rocks or the plants or even like the little tree twigs so there was one day that the shepherd was walking with all the hunter sheep behind him and one sheep ran off. He went away, he got lost. And the shepherd didn't notice. He didn't notice until he turned back because the shepherd said that he always made sure that he always had his 100 sheep with him. So every so often he would count he would count all his sheep to see if there was a hundred with him. So when the shepherd was walking, he was walking on the road, he looked back to count his a hundred sheep to see if all of them were there. And when he looked back, he counted all the sheep and he said, there was, there's one sheep that is missing. And he, and he said, oh no, what happened to that one sheep? And that one sheep was lost, he got lost. So this one sheep out of a hundred left the group. So this one sheep ran off and the shepherd got really worried. He got really, really worried for that one sheep because cause he said, what's, what's gonna happen to my sheep? You, you, see, you see how worried he is? He goes, what's gonna happen to that one sheep? Right, and he was probably thinking, "Oh my God, maybe an animal is gonna is gonna eat him." Right, maybe another animal is gonna eat him. Um, maybe he's gonna he's gonna be hungry. Maybe he's gonna need water. Right, so he was so worried about that a hundred sheep. So what the shepherd did is he was he loves the the he loved the sheep so much that what he did is he went back he went back to go find that one sheep that he lost and what he did is he left the 99 sheep on the road so he can go find that one sheep that he lost so the shepherd was going back and he was you know he was running and he was he, and he was looking around to see where the sheep where the sheep was and he was you know looking at bushes and you know at trees and he was just trying to find this one sheep right because he was really worried for it because this one sheep was so special to him like the other 99 that he had back on the road so the shepherd finally found the sheep and the sheep was injured when the shepherd found the sheep the sheep had a lot of lots of cuts um, he, he was stuck on a tree, so the sheep went up to the tree and he stayed there, right? Because the sheep, the, the sheep was probably scared. He was probably lost, right? Maybe he was probably hungry, maybe thirsty, right? You never know. You never, um, you, uh, you don't know what the sheep, um, could have felt, right? Because he ran off. So the sheep was on top of a tree. So what the shepherd did was that he brought down the sheep 
from the tree and what he did was that he carried him on his back and um you might think why um why did the shepherd um carry the sheep on the back right why because the because the sheep was injured the sheep was injured he had cuts he had some bruises right his body was injured he had a lot of tree twigs um on his on his arms on his legs on his feet right he was covered in all tree twigs so he was injured so what the shepherd did was that he was brave enough to carry the sheep on his back now i'm gonna ask you guys a question um do you guys think that the sheep weighs a lot yeah, huh? It probably weighed a ton, right? The sheep probably weighed so much, but the shepherd was so brave enough and he that's and he cared so much for the sheep that he carried him on his back, on his back. So what the shepherd did is he went back to his 99 sheep were, that were on the road and he went back home with, remember, with the sheep on his back and also the 99 that were behind him. So the shepherd went walking back home with the sheep um, on his back because he was injured. And when the shepherd got back home, he laid down the sheep on the ground and he, pro and he probably gave him, um, you know, something for his injuries, right? Something for his cut for his bruises right because he was injured and maybe maybe the shepherd gave him you know some food some water so he took care of him so um so right when the shepherd got to his house he took care of the 99 sheep but also that one sheep that got injured as well now the shepherd um do you think that he was brave do you guys think that he was brave? Well, if you guys have family, if you guys have friends around you, answer that question to them and say, mom, dad, or friend, I think that the shepherd was brave to go back and to go find that one sheep when he had 99, right? When he had 99 sheep on the road, but he did not care. He wanted that one sheep, right? He wanted all 99 of his sheep to come back home with him safely. So um, that is how God protects us as well so um so just like the shepherd protected the sheep right that one sheep god protects every each and every one of us and when we get lost right when we go out and get lost or maybe um or when uh, or maybe when when we're lost in our relationship with god right he makes he makes sure jesus makes sure that we are back with him right that we have him in our hearts and he makes sure that none of us get lost and when and when we get lost when we get lost he makes sure he makes sure to go find us right he makes sure to go find us to protect us to heal us right to bless us so um so just uh so just as the shepherd protected the one sheep god also protects us as well just uh just like the shepherd did with the sheep god does the same thing for us god always protects us as well and in and in his eyes we are so special to him we are very special to him in his life he all he's always there to protect us anytime um we're lost or we feel nervous about something in our life or maybe we're freaked out about um something in our life that is happening he is there for us and he is protecting us um and and, and anytime we feel nervous or freaked out about anything he always says don't be afraid because i am right next to you and anytime we feel lost in our lives or maybe um we don't have god in our hearts he will always make sure to go and find us wherever we get lost for us to come back to his love because we are very special to him in his life um so just like uh ju um so just like the shepherd um loved and cared um for for his sheep and for his and for him his sheep were so special to him god does the same thing for us we are so special to him in his eyes and he will always guide us and he will always protect us wherever we go um so i hope you guys like this story of the lost sheep um make sure that you go share this story to your friends to your family members to your cousins and maybe even your neighbors so you can tell them about more about the story about the lost sheep and also the meaning that god um you know god always protects us and for him we are so special um in his life so before we close out our teaching today, I want to do a quick prayer um, with you guys. So if you could, so if you can all bow your heads and repeat after me. 
Thank you, God, for loving, caring, and protecting me wherever I go. I will accept you in my heart today as my Lord and Savior. I will walk with you and obey of whatever you tell me. I love you and thank you for your presence. Amen. All right, guys, so I hope you guys like this story and make sure you tune in next week to, to listen to another cool story that we, guys, that we have for you guys. All right, guys, take care. Bye. Welcome to Craft Time. It's Teacher Raquel and today we learned all about the lost sheep and how God is looking for you even if he has the 99. He is going to keep looking for you if you are lost. So we're going to make a cute craft that helps us remind us about this Bible lesson. You're going to need a little paper cup, green paper, and a white piece of paper. So you're going to go ahead and grab a strip of green paper and we're gonna go ahead and cut like this across the strip to create grass. And we're gonna cut another one and this strip is a little bit smaller because it's gonna create an overlay. We're just gonna cut. Now, after we're done cutting, we're gonna go ahead and tape this first grass strip onto our cup. So we're gonna take some tape, put some tape on here and tape it on. Okay, now we're gonna take our second strip of grass and put it right below that to create a second layer. So this is what your cup should look like. And now we're gonna take our white piece of paper and we're gonna draw a sheep. This is my sheep. <laughs> so 
we're gonna cut our little sheet. This is my sheet. <laughs> Isn't he cute? So we're gonna glue our sheep right onto the grass. Or tape him. Now, we're, to remember today's Bible lesson, we are going to take the same strip of white paper. So we're gonna write today's Bible verse on a little strip of white paper. And it comes from Luke 15, six, and it says, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost sheep. So go, let's go ahead and write that out. Okay, now that we're done writing our Bible verse, we're gonna cut it out. And we are going to glue our Bible verse anywhere you like. I'm gonna do it here on this corner or on the bottom. And there you have it kids. We have our lost sheep with our Bible verse for today's lesson. And remember, Jesus is there to find his lost sheep. And we are his sheep. He is our pastor and our shepherd. So thank you guys for joining us this week, and we'll catch you guys next time.
kids, it's teacher Claudia and before you click out of this video, I have an important question to ask you. Have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Have you asked him to be your best friend? If not, I have three simple steps that you can do right now so that you can be accepted into God's family. And that is A. Admit that you've done wrong things. We are not perfect and all of us have fallen short but Jesus forgives you. And B, believe that Jesus is your Lord and Savior. He died for you so that you can live a life full of His Holy Spirit and a life full of abundance in Him. And C, my favorite part, which is we're gonna celebrate that we have been accepted into God's family and we are now His children. So are you ready to make this prayer with me? If yes, then close your eyes and bow your heads wherever you're at and believe this with your whole heart. Ready, close your eyes and repeat after me. Dear Lord, thank you for sending your son Jesus to die for my sins and my wrongdoings. I accept you as my Lord and Savior and I ask you that you be the number one focus in my life. I ask for your forgiveness and I ask you that you teach me to live a life that is pleasing and honoring for you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And now we need to celebrate. So let's celebrate. Welcome to God's family.